Hello guys, my name is Valentine and welcome to Tura Photography. Today I'll be teaching you how to create your frequency separation from the scratch. The basic steps to follow and how to create it in order for you to transform your image from a rough textured skin to a more smooth and fine textured skin. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, today we're going to use this model as our reference image today. So as you can see, the skin is a bit rough. So let's start with some cleanups before heading to the main thing. Alright, so let's use, um, first of all, let's du duplicate the image. Then let's use our spot healing brush tool to take care of the blemishes as you can see on the image so it starts cleaning up <laughs> and we need to fast up this video in order to save a bit time Alright, welcome back guys. Now let's see our before and after the cleanup. This is before and after the cleanup. So the main the main thing we are we about to achieve today was for us to do our frequency separation from the scratch. So now let me just mesh this down and start our frequency separation. Step one duplicate your image two times by hitting ctrl j on the keyboard i repeat ctrl j on the keyboard twice one two as you can see we have two layers addition to what we have before which is the background now come to the first layer you can rename it whatever i want to rename but let's go with high and low frequency the first one is going to be high frequency so just leave it as high then use your tab key on the keyboard to go to the next layer them just type in the low as low frequency and enter okay on the keyboard now the next thing to do is you can hide the high frequency layer go to your filter blur gaussian blur and just zoom into your image as you can see we have this hand 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 tool here is telling to grab so once you grab it's going to show you the before image and after the image so you can zoom out to see clearly now let's take it down to zero now this is zero now what you are about to achieve here is you want to make sure we adjust our radius to the points we don't see the skin texture anymore so we keep on pushing keep on pushing as you can see it's gradually adjusting the skin texture so let's keep on going okay let's leave it about it should be okay so this is before and this is after then this is okay let's then hit okay on the keyboard then open your high frequency make it selected go to your image apply image now in this in this box you are seeing here what you need to do is first of all open this layer which is emerge open it select your low frequency from that point now you come to blending from multiply use subtract then where you see scale always make sure you have two here offset 128 if that's what you have click ok on the keyboard after that you come to your blending mode change your blending mode from normal to linear light then you come down to your low frequency layer then pick your mixer brush tool 
as you can see most of these settings may not be as default as you to come with from the from the first place most of our guys do use different sex settings but my settings is five on the weight low on the five mix 90 flow 100 that's what i use then after you must have selected make sure your foreground color and your background color is black and white so you just got can just click d on your keyboard to default the colors so click d on the keyboard it's back to default and you see black increase your brush size click your mouse and start painting that is applying your frequency just paint around your image and mind you don't paint from your shadow to your highlight and mid-tone paint it separately like now this is the shadow part of the image you paint it then you paint on the mid-tone separately then paint on the highlight separately so you not destroy the texture of the skin like the color of the skin so if you have that so just paint around your image I need to fast forward this part so that we can fast up the video a bit. So I'll see you on the other side. So guys, welcome back. As you can see, I've done painting my image. So if you want to see your before and after your image, click alternate key on your keyboard and click on this eye icon. This is your before and after. Before and after. For me, I'm not done here. I've always have this final step before maybe concluding my frequency separation. What I usually do is, while still on my low frequency layer, I come to this tool here. You just pop it up so you can see this lasso tool here. That one exactly. Then after I must have selected it, I make sure I have my feather at least minimum of 10. I'll now come make a selection by clicking and dragging. And I'll leave it, it's going to join up. I'll go to my fade filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's say, depending on how sharp the image is, that's how you're going to apply your radius over here so you can have a smooth skin because what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to smoothen my skin after my frequency separation so let's start with 15 or let me say 20 as the case may be okay then after that I'll now do control D to deselect the selection I'll come to another part of the A the face same thing click and drag to make a selection apply my Gaussian blow by right clicking and applying my Gaussian blow again automatically it smoothens the surface of the skin after brushing my frequency in as you can see So guys, let's zoom in. As you can see, there are some bandings, bandings in the skin. That's when I was removing my blemishes. So if you want to fix this, if you want to fix these bandings on the skin, you come to your high frequency layer. Then go back to your clone stamp tool. Reduce the size. Reduce the flow to about 30 or 20. Then you hold your alternate key, pick a reference from the skin, and just bend like so to fix that. That is it. 
pick and replace. Select and replace. You check around where you have such bandings on your skin. Then I have one here. Pick and select. Replace. Pick and replace. Pick and replace. That's fixing your skin after removing your blemishes. So that's just that. When you're done, okay so let's see a before and after again come to the background layer or your alternate key click on this eye icon and check before and after before and after so guys that is how to apply your frequency separation from the beginning from the scratch so thanks guys for watching See you next time.